only allowed to go out when you go to the shop and buy something or you go to the pharmacy when you see. So you went just to repair the bike in the garage. But you are aware of the lockdown. That you should be in the house. So I think there's a reasonable degree of compliance in some suburbs, but in others not so much. So in many areas you're driving, you're seeing 95% of the people complying. I think we are seeing a slow erosion of that compliance, where people see others um, getting away with it and then decide to do so themselves. We're especially seeing that on the roads with more people on the roads. And then we were just in the new now where the level of compliance is extremely, extremely low, worryingly so. <laughs> The first infection in that area and it is going to spread like wildfire so we will dr drastically have to do something to improve the situation there and uh, I have now contacted the senior staff to suggest that uh, at their joint operations meeting that we have a uh, discussion uh, with SAPS and with the military about doing a multi-day lockdown, three, four days where we consolidated resources from across a wide area into the noon and make sure that nobody that doesn't have to be on the street is on the street. Otherwise we're failing the people there um, one, and uh, simply driving through with a few vehicles is achieving nothing because you don't have the, uh, the ability to even start making a dent in the level of non-compliance. For the rest of it, I think we also need to probably scale down on the roadblocks. I think that they're too easily circumvented. We see lots of vehicles just rat running around them because they've been in the same places for days. So we probably need to change that and get, um, uh, get more roving um, interception going uh, to drive compliance and then to all the people who are complying thank you thank you very much that you're doing the right thing that you're staying on target that you're keeping you're being responsible uh, uh, continue to do that so that we can concentrate our resources on those pockets that are not complying